Ah, uh, we Superman 201, the final part of the Maestro trilogy. And this one I am more inclined to like because I have a high quality image of the cover I can use for the thumbnail instead of a close up photo. This was a three part story that ran in 2004 across the Superman books and weirdly it seems to be a fill in story but it does net some long term results in that Maestro hangs around the DC Universe for a while after this. The cover is obviously another reference to the first Superman cover. We have never seen that referenced before, have we? We get some much needed backstory on Maestro here, which is doubly handy for me since I got the character confused with the Robert Lee Fieldman one. Apparently, Maestro, he is just outright a hero. So can someone explain why, in that Captain Atomant series, he was treated like he was a fascist bully? He is in the main DC universe now, and Lewis has released them from imprisonment... Because she feels a connection to him. Probably because he is a blatant Superman rip-off. There is a thing going on. And Maestro can save the day maybe. The science in his reality is more advanced than on this earth. So he claims he knows that. Steal Superman's invention to stop the time storms will in fact make it worse. We have Radiator Superman, Superboy and Steel Superwoman. They are flying up to detonate Steel Superman's bomb thing. And Maestro, he intends to stop them. It is funny because he one shot Steel Superwoman and then Superboy has to fly off and save her from crashing into the ground. So Superboy doesn't get demolished by Maestro. And this is the best way to handle this fight. The character I didn't like, Jobs. And the one at day like doesn't have to fight. Our big showdown is between Maestro and Radiator Superman. It's really the most I have seen done with Radiator Superman since the 90s. I'm not sure if it really rhymes with his character. But Radiator Superman is really a bit xenophobic towards Maestro. He hates him just because he comes from another reality. I off like this Radiator Superman design. I like that it pays lip service to his original look. But I think the cape slash cloak... That part is a bit complicated. It's more of a shawl. And his collar bit has a needless bit of design to it. You can't see it on this page. And he is already beaten by Maestro on the next one. Maestro, he gets rid of Steel Superman's bomb thing. And on Earth... They seem resigned to this fate of doom because of the time storms going on. Uh, that is also how 
Maestro arrived in this dimension, the crazy time storms. Lewis faces the fact that maybe she was wrong and was tricked by Maestro and too willing to trust him because he seemed so similar to Superman. But come on, man, you know what happens. This is the fake-out bit where we think that Maestro has betrayed this Earth and that they are all ganning to die. And we start getting far too many splash pages showing us carnage at the Metro Centre. Buildings blowing up. I'm not sure how a time storm would cause controlled demolitions, but apparently it can. And Lois, she is crying about her own apparent stupidity. And then she gets swept up off her feet. Just literally, though. By Maestro, who has come to show her that actually... He is a good guy after all, and he has saved everyone off panel. Very cheap way to resolve the threat by not actually showing us Maestro when the time storm stopped. They apparently just stopped after he destroyed Steel Superman's device. We get to see the others, the Superman fam jam. We get to see them react and realise that Maestro was correct. But Radiator Superman he is still not sold on Maestro and is convinced that he is the enemy. And then Maestro, he tells us how... The time storms were a natural thing that they had brought on themselves by using technology from the future all over the Metro Center. And they just had to let the storm pass and reclaim the time energy from the city. And then Maestro flies off letting Lewis know that he is sticking around until he can find a way back home. But wait, there is more. It turns out Maestro wasn't the only extra-dimensional being who made it through to this reality during the crisis. What oh What is going to happen? I didn't know. I didn't even know if this is ever picked up on. Maybe that is what the Maestro miniseries is about. I didn't know. But this has been a solid Superman story without Superman in it. I will admit a bit of disappointment in not getting to see Superman interact with Maestro. Or Superman fight Maestro. But since Maestro is staying around, I'm guessing we will definitely see that down the line. This was a nice little story with a strong hook, really, and I enjoyed it. It gave me 90s Superman vibes, and that is a good thing. So, seven thumbs up.